When you start with a change you want to see, you know, to look at what's needed in the community, uh, ask people who have lived experience what changes, what's holding them back, what's keeping them stuck, and then try to develop an intervention, a program, an assistance, you know, a investment that can help change outcomes. In practice, this almost always requires collaborating with several organizations. The example which I well, the example I put there is Family Futures Down East, which is a collaboration of six partners, a partnership of equals, um, that works to help um, parents um, with young kids who are living in or near poverty to succeed in school, particularly in college. I have four children, um, two boys, two girls. They're 17, 14, four, and almost two. Actually, when I started FFD, I was pregnant with my youngest. I was due September 8th. <laughs> I had her on September 3rd. I gave birth to my daughter at 2.11 and at 5.30 I was on Zoom in the hospital holding my daughter <laughs> for class. <laughs> One of the things that's really important about the work that Sunrise County Economic Council does is that they're really taking that broad picture of Washington County. Um, and so things like broadband for the whole county are, are projects that they're working on. But at the same time, they're recognizing that the 32,000 individual people that live in Washington County also need those, those same services right now in the moment. We can't wait uh, 10 years for broadband to, to be here. Every family going to school has a hotspot. They have a, they've always had a laptop that we've loaned them, uh, but it really made a difference. I think it's about $40 a month. Um, so it's a commitment to, um, you know, to say every student in our program, and we've got about 60 families in the program that every family will have this. Um, but, uh, but it makes a difference. If it wasn't for FFD, I wouldn't even be in school. I know that, I know that now. I'm working something not even close to what I'm going to school for. I'm actually working at two takeouts. I have, well, I have four part-time jobs, but um, I work in two takeouts and then I clean like Airbnbs and I work at a nursing home as a CRMA. CNA. Rural communities are, are always challenging. We always have limited resources compared to other, but the relationships we have um, and when you can build it, the trust um, that really develops because it is our neighbors that we're working with and for. Um, and I think that, that that really can propel rural communities. You know, I live in my hometown. I live in the house I grew up in. I think there's a lot of value in long-term commitment. Our oldest boy, he was exactly like the 14-year-old. Didn't care about school, didn't care if he graduated eighth grade, he could have cared less. He is actually, <laughs> I see if I can say this without crying, he's actually set to graduate a year early now. He's graduating next year. And he's finished his entire freshman year in college already. He's been extremely successful and it's because he could see that I was putting so much effort into it. And he's like, hey, I want to be successful. I want what she wants.